hello guys and we are here with client tech you know what? and here's another version of my Clinox GT version 2.0 so here is the new version uh, there are uh, there are some few upgrades like uh, this one transformer from before uh, I, I used a small toroid and uh, and there are additional uh, additional ceramic capacitor paralleled with the uh, resistor so here is the schematic here's the diagram so I just simplify everything so that you can follow and make your own version so as I note here these have been running for 36 to 48 hours this is currently uh, 48 hours now um, the battery started voltage at uh, 1.3 something and as of now it has 1.2 uh, so it has it, it only drained few millivolts and for about uh, almost 48 hours now so uh, there are uh, not another here uh, the input maximum bolt should be at least three bolts only uh, so you want the so you want get an as the shock from this transformer I actually I accidentally put uh, three point something bolts near to four bolts that's why I get nasty shock from this but uh, you can handle the shock it, it will it won't uh, it in it might not kill you but uh, it, it will get you nasty shock so again uh, the schematic I will just explain okay we're here from the base and from this base we you have the 500 ohms uh, if you can put one watt or half watt by barred ohms paralleled with uh, this this is actually the 0 point 0 0.47 k.63 and a series with the uh, zero another 0 0.47 and parallel with 2k ohms uh, it doesn't matter if you have a uh, half watt or one watt and uh, this is green wire is this is actually the green wire so you could understand easily from this transformer is is connected from here and continue this blue wire here this is actually the white wire i replaced because i don't okay this wire here is actually connected to the switch so I will explain again the uh, from the base there are two series uh, capacitor and resistor and and I'm now in this uh, collector we have this diode I use one in four zero zero one one in four zero zero one yes I think so I uh, use the diode that has a minimum uh, four volt bolt so you'll get uh you'll get a maximum uh, you'll get enough light and uh, to to maintain the drainage of your bat battery so uh with the series of this diode as you can see here there is this actually the thing there are parallel uh resistor the other one is i think it's three watt or four watt i don't know and the other one is uh, a half watt or one fourth watt it doesn't matter but as long as you can put two parallel uh, resistor or maybe if you have 200 four watt uh, resistor uh, you can remove this or you can just put 200 okay so from here this from here we have connection to the from this switch so this switch here is our red wire this is actually the red wire 
and another red wire go to the LED positive so okay so again this red wire there is the red wire mm. connected to another red wire from the LED so if you have LED in series you can connect or you have LED in parallel uh, the LED I'm using is this 12 volt 8 watt made in Germany actually so this is 12 volt DC input so okay okay let's go back to the so and and there's another wire this black wire is actually from the LED which is we put on the middle of the pin of the of this um, switch and the last wire would be this white wire here and this wire this wire this is supposed to be white wire so uh, it's definitely can't we can't we don't have white ink so I, I, I replace this for a blue ball pencil uh, this is connected this this two so we actually have one two three we actually have three series of uh, resistor running around so the, the the current from this from this transformer is just running around from the transistor and going around and go back to the battery and then go to the LED and then go back again to this transistor so that's why the, the, the drainage for the current is as only has at least 30 to 50 um, milliamps. I forgot to mention about uh, this diode up drain, here drain yeah this is actually current diode so that's why the base and the emitter 36 and yes. currently up to 48 the hours one time or more yeah. have diode here it's, it's the same value uh, diode from forward diode from this uh, to this collector and I just put diode okay so and then uh, what else so I'm gonna test we're gonna test this how this how the brightness from this 1. Point, uh, climax version 2.0 so I'll just turn off the light lip and there you have it as you can see this is the only light source we have now this is I'm, I'm actually at kitchen so there is the washing machine about three three feet from me from okay so uh, as you can see here it's usable light you can read so that's how the GT works client oxygen works okay mm -hmm. so let me turn on the lights again on so maybe some of you notice this switch okay this switch here we have the switch because if you connected already the battery you, th you might think that the battery will drain from this transistor going around to this uh, what they call this a transformer small transformer so I don't think so uh, well I'm not an expert in electronics uh, I'm just a hobbyist and I, I had to make my own that's why this version uh, made me uh, more time to make JT version of mine so uh, so that's why this has switch here I was also surprised about mm, why it lasted for almost mm, 50 hours now so I think that's maybe because you have this circle here this is actually maybe the answer but as, as I told as I mentioned I'm not uh, an expert in electronics uh, I just copied also some other youtubers who may uh, Klinox that has 
a lot of efficiency uh, I forgot their names but you can search a lot of videos uh, for G making JT but there are some a JT that has a good quality and has efficiency and I think this one I made is one of them so I hope you guys um, watch a video if you have time if you have uh, comments just comment and we'll answer the questions or if you can subscribe uh, it would be better thank you and uh, see you soon